Hi friends and drama nerds, today's drama is about a movie titled, Vesper. Scientists had tried to prevent the impending environmental collapse by investing in genetic modification, but it backfired and the experiments fail. Viruses and designed organisms have scaped into the wild and destroyed edible plants, animals, and a large part of human population. Government and upper class have formed their own imperial world in enclosed cities, called Citadel, while the people outside of the Citadel must find food and resources on their own. Citadel gives them modified seeds that require a special process to be made fertile. However, these are coded to produce only one harvest. Only the scientists of the Citadels know the details of this process. Among them is a 13-year-old girl named Vesper, who lives with her paralyzed father, Darius. Darius can only communicate by using a drone that looks like a floating robot head. He uses the drone to accompany Vesper in her daily routine, while his real body stays in bed. Vesper conducts experiments in an abandoned lab on bio-hacking the seeds to make them grow without the process from the Citadels. She even kept his father alive by maintaining the device connected to him. A year ago Vesper's mother left to be part of a group of people called the Pilgrims. They are scavengers and drag the junk they collect, they never reveal their face and they wander alone till they die. One day, when Vesper returns home, she finds her lab have been attacked and their generator is broken. She has no choice but to go to his uncle, Jonas, who lives not far away. Her uncle manages a sort of orphanage that he uses to extract blood from the children and sell it to the Citadel. Jonas also owns beings called Jugs, artificial humans made with the sole purpose of being a slave worker. Vesper sells her own blood to Jonas to get supplies and parts for her generator that keeps Darius alive. Jonas wants Vesper to become a breeder, but she refuses. Jonas tries to stiff Vesper by refusing her the bacteria promised for the blood, saying, she has to wait two days until he sell the blood and then will give her the bacteria. Her father cannot survive until then. Vesper gets angry and tries to get her blood back, but Jonas throws her out. Vesper does not give up. She sneaks into his laboratory to get what she needs. An assistant sees this but does not stop her. She also takes some of the seeds that Janice bought from Citadel. And finally, she returns home and powers on her father's device. Vesper begins to examine the seeds. She hopes to be able to fertilize them and this will take her to the Citadel. Her father says that her dream is too expensive, and no matter how smart she is, Citadel will never accept her. Vesper gets upset and leaves the house crying. When she runs through the forest, she sees a woman there, Camellia, whose clothes show that she is from Citadel. Vesper notices the plants are feeding on her. She unplugs the plants from her body and takes her home. At home, she takes care of her with some kind healing pads she has made for her father. In the evening, Camellia wakes up and hears Vesper and her father arguing about her. Vesper thinks that Camellia can get them to the Citadel, but her father does not trust the woman and believes she should be left in the forest. Camellia tells Vesper that their glider crashed yesterday. Her father was with her and now she has to find him. She promises Vesper that she will not regret it if she helps her. Vesper agrees but her father is against her. During dinner, Camellia finds out that Darius was injured while serving in the Citadel army, and the only thing they give him is a drone, and that's why he doesn't trust them. While Darius having a tense seizure, Camellia kisses him and he immediately immediately falls asleep. The next morning, Whisper goes to the forest and finds Camellia's father, Elias. Unfortunately, Jonas and the others arrive, and Jonas kills him. Vesper tries to stop him, but she is not able to. She is very upset because she lost Camellia's reward. Jonas finds out that there was also another passenger in the ship. Vesper does not reveal Camellia's presence in her home. Darius suggests Vesper to tell Camellia that she couldn't find anything, and tells her to contact with the Citadel so that they can come and pick up Camellia, but the only transmit they got is with Jonas. When they return home, Vesper lies to Camellia and promises to look for her father again. Vesper decides to trust Camellia and show her her secret flower house. Vesper grew all the plants there. They all have different abilities and characters. But Vesper wants to be able to grow Citadel's edible seeds. When Whisper's attention is on one of plants, her father's drone approaches Camellia and says he knows that there is no way she could take them to Citadel. He just wants her to be kind to Vesper because she trusted her and her dream is everything to her. When they return home, Camellia asks Vesper about her mother. After Vesper talks about her mother who left them one year ago and the rest of the story, then she asks Camellia why normal people can't be in Citadel? Camellia tells her that if the doors are open to everyone, they will run out of resource. Vesper says they can work for them instead of Jugs, artificial human force. But Camellia says that Citadel wants to be in control, and Jugs are not rebellious like normal people. That's why Jugs are preferred. Then she takes his mother's music instrument and starts playing. The next day, Vesper goes to Jenna's place to
to use his transmitter, but this time Jonas catches her father's drone. He pretends to fix the drone, and talks about the missing seeds and about his assistant, who was in charge and something may happen to him, then asks about the missing passenger. But she doesn't say anything. She takes the drone and leaves. Her father's drone can't fly, it falls, then gets on flying, and has no control. When she is trying to catch it, she finds the body of Jonas' assistant under the trees. Then Jonas' boys arrive, who followed her. They take Vesper and put a mark on her wrist to show that she is a member of their community. She is deeply upset when she comes home. Camellia calms her down. Vesper regrets lying to her about her father and tells her that her father is dead. Then, to prove it, she takes her to see the body in the river. Camellia's life gets worse and starts to cry. When Vesper is taking her out of the river, she notices a strange wound on Camellia's back which reacts when she wants to touch it. It turns out that Camellia is a jug, a very advanced one, which was designed by Elias, who she calls him father, and has expelled from the citadel for creating an intelligent creature. So Camellia also lied. She can never take Vesper and her father to citadel because she is a fugitive. Vesper gets very upset and heartbroken. She tells Camellia that she has to get out of her house. Later on, finally she fixes the drone. After she tells her father what happened, Darius tells her not to mistreat Camellia because Jugs can only obey orders and she had no other choice. On the other hand, Camellia tries to kill herself before Citadel finds her. But what Darius said changed Vesper's mind and she stops Camellia just in time. Camellia tells her that she has no purpose to live anymore. Vesper calms her down then asks her if she can take a sample of her cells for her research, which is not easy at all because Camellia's cells are locked like all those seeds. Camellia sees that Vesper is very tired. She plays music for her, saying, Elias always used to say that music helps to concentrate better. While Vesper checking samples from the synthetic Camellia, she notices they react to the tune Camellia is playing. Vesper tries it on the seeds stolen from her uncle Jonas' farm. Surprisingly this causes the locked bacteria in the seeds to unlock. Vesper assumes she found a way to unlock the citadel seeds and make them fertile so they will never starve again. Camellia says that Elias did this intentionally to end the dominance of of the citadels over the food supply. Vesper needs more tools, so she quickly goes to the old laboratory. Camellia stays at home to take care of Darius' body. Jonas comes there and finds her. He threatens to kill Darius and forces her to go with him. Camellia agrees to go with him but he notices the wound on Camellia's back and realizes that she is a jug. When he is trying to reprogram it to make himself as her boss, Vesper arrives. They fight him and take him down, but Vesper doesn't want to kill him. She suggests that if he does not inform Citadel. In return, Vesper gives him the secret of the seeds. Jonas pretends to accept it, but as soon as he returns to the farm, he calls Citadel and informs them about Camellia. It's night, and Vesper broke the lock of the first group of seeds, but unfortunately, the drone informs them that something is outside, and Citadel found them. An engineered organism enters the house. Fortunately, Darius knows it, since he was in the army. He tells them not to breathe until they are gone. Camellia wants to surrender herself to save them, but Darius does not accept, because they will come to Vesper anyway for helping Camellia. Instead, he suggests that he will distract the soldiers so that they can run away. Vesper doesn't want to leave her father alone. Darius tells her to hide somewhere nearby and come back when the soldiers leave. When the soldiers arrive at the area, they kill Janus and his group first, then they go to Darius's house. Vesper arranged everything and took the seeds with her. Darius has no hope that the soldiers will listen to him, and he doesn't even try to. His plan is to blow up the drone and destroy the soldiers with him. Vesper sees the explosion in the forest. She tries to go back to help her father, but Camellia stops her. Unfortunately, two of the soldiers are alive and they are looking for them. Vesper takes Camellia to the swamp and lead the soldiers to some kind of plants to kill them. The first soldier falls into the trap and dies, but the second soldier gets the trick. Vesper and Camellia hide behind the bushes. When he gets close, Vesper and Camellia attack him and take his gun. They fight him until he gets close to the plants and gets killed by. A sound coming from far away, and they realize that more gliders are coming. Camellia says that they will never let her go, so Vesper and the seeds are also in danger. Vesper refuses to be separated from her, but Camellia puts her to sleep with a kiss. She hides Vesper, then she surrenders. Vesper wakes up the next morning and returns home, but the house is completely burnt. Deeply saddened, Vesper buries the altered seeds, believing there's no use for them in a world without her loved ones. But when a group of Jonas kids find her, Vesper changes her mind. Vesper and the children journey to a makeshift tower built by the pilgrims, where her mother is also one of them. She climbs on top of the tower, and she finally takes the seeds out then lets the wind spread them. 